<laughs> you wanna know what I think about this movie? You wanna know what I think, huh? You wanna know what I think? Of? That's what I think about the goddamn movie. That's what I think about the goddamn. This is what I think about the worst fucking Eddie Murphy film ever seen in my fucking life. The worst goddamn movie. This is one of those films that I, years and years and years ago I found at Goodwill for like a dollar. Because maybe it'll grow on me. Hey, I think at that point I had only seen the film like once. I remember being really fucking bad, but I'm like, it's Eddie Murphy, let me give it another shot. And yeah, shot up your fucking cool. Shot up your fucking shit heel. What does that mean? It means you find a guy who's a shit heel and you put your head up their ass. And whatever you smell, it smelled Norbit. Pretty much take all the shit he was doing in The Night Professor and The Night Professor 2, and then add in stuff you would see in, I swear, like white chips or fucking stereo. You know, I don't like trying to be really raunchy, trying to be really over the top, and it's being The Night Professor trying to be raunchy with the farting and shit, but here even more so. Yeah, you say the the racist stereotypes, which a lot of people get offended. I did. I just didn't think it was funny. And you just go, Eddie Murphy wrote this with his brother Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy may rest in peace, but this is not good writing. This is not good acting. This is not good directing. From the director of Good Burger, Brian Robbins, which Eddie Murphy would work again. With like meet Dave, I think, and a thousand words. Cause this film was a hit. This film made like ninety-five million bucks when it came out. Oh, you know, all these good films like Dread with Curb and all these fucking good films that flop. But this film was a hit? Like, why didn't Metro make ninety-five million bucks? Why didn't this Distinguished Gentleman make 95 million bucks? Better Eddie Murphy films or Showtime? But this makes 95 million? Really? A film where a fucking baby gets thrown to the fucking road and Eddie Murphy, one of his 30 fucking parts, playing an Asian guy, saying, Oh, ugly black baby. You're an ugly black one too. Can't give these away. If a fucking white guy played an Asian in that way, people lose their fucking mind. Although, I mean, to be fair, I can deal with it in Remo Williams' The Adventure Begins, but that's a natural fucking character and a good performance, and there's more to that character than this shit. Norbit, he's a little kid, living in an orphanage, grows up there, where the father's an Asian, the Asian guy played by Eddie Murphy, who will chop ducks' heads off and throw them at the boy, and throw harpoons, almost kill the boy. He meets this little girl when they're kids, and they fall in love, got the little ring pop things, and then she goes away because she's has a family found for her. He's still at the orphanage. And one day, like before that, you have Joe's like Norbit reminiscing this, like what they did together. Why we even pooped together? You could see two kids taking a shit. And then as he grows up, he meets this bigger girl who is a bitch. 
and she's fat because they made like 50 fucking fat jokes in five minutes. Rasputia wants to play Eddie Murphy, and then the older Norbert played by Eddie Murphy. Rasputia is abusive, tells Norbert what to do. Rasputia has three brothers, one of them is Terry Crews. They tell Norbert what to do. And he's Norbert is pretty much a bitch. Working for the big bitch. Really, that's what this would be called, fat bitches. Or one big fat bitch. That's, that's the ultimate title of this, one big fat bitch. That's what the movie's about. About a gal played by Eddie Murphy who's fat and a bitch. And that made 95 million bucks. There's a reason why this is just like a 4 out of 10 IMDb. Fucking deserves lore. It's easily... I'm not kidding when at the beginning. This is the worst Eddie Murphy film I've seen. The worst Eddie Murphy film. Because he took the annoying stuff I hate where he plays multiple fucking characters, which I don't care for that Eddie Murphy. Then throws in all this uncomfortable shit and moronic shit. And 50 million fucking fat jokes. Yeah, I get it. She's fat. But yet Jane Horst of the Washington Post said it's very funny. I guess Jane doesn't like comedy. Because she hasn't seen a lot of comedies. Because the jokes you get, oh, when he's younger and the three brothers give him food and they're serving turkey, he just served a little turkey ass for dinner. Or the first night after the wedding, Rasputia runs, clobbers, nor bed, they crash to the bed because they're going to fuck, and the bread, the bread, the bed collapses. And this happens like three fucking times. First time for sex, uh, Christmas, when he's a cop, role play, oh no, four times, it's President's Day as well, Happy President's Day. And just consistently bitchy and Norbit. Oh, you moved my seat. I know you moved my seat. You know, being the sassy black woman. Oh, no, you didn't. Like, come on, Eddie Murphy and Charlie Murphy made recipes. Come on. You can't tell me this is the best writing you guys can do. Seriously? And then the cast that they got for this, Cooper Newton Jr. is your villain, because the little girl that liked Norbit growing up is Tandy Newton, who is in Mission Impossible 2 and other stuff. She's getting married to Cooper Newton Jr., who's a two-faced sleaze, got sleaze ball. Eddie Griffin and Cat Williams are two guys who used to be pimps, but now they run this rib restaurant <clears throat> yeah I mentioned Terry Crews he's one of the brothers oh Marlon Wayans is in here as a dance instructor of a dance called Power Tap and Respucia wants private lessons and they're fucking and Norbit finds out calls her the queen of four she gets pissed runs runs outside runs through a table the table flies off When they're driving home later, she purposely hits this dog. Doesn't kill it, but you know, hurts it because it yapped too much. Norbert's ready to leave. She lies, says, I with child. Then like five minutes later, says, nah, that was just gas. And then farts. This is the fucking comedy you have, folks. This is the plot. This is the story. People are like, come on, man. There must be something you can enjoy. Marlon Wayans, maybe if his role was in another movie, I could maybe enjoy his weird, over-the-top character. Maybe. Terry Crews, it's always nice to see Terry Crews saying lines like, this fake title biddies. I like Terry Crews. Eddie's performance at Norbit is not bad. And his relationship with Tandy Noon can be maybe a little sweet at times, but maybe if the movie was just about that and not about this fucking thing. And not having stupid shit like the 
Asian guy played by Eddie Murphy and fucking fart jokes and every five seconds I remember that hey she's fat I get it they go to the park Respucia gets into one of those like jump castle balloons where people go and bounce she's bouncing because they took these kids took her hat and anytime she falls a kid flies away and flies into a tree and flies out Old water part where she slides down and CGI because you can't have a character fly down CGI. Maybe they did that because it's makeup. Rick Baker, Rick fucking Baker. I know because he had a hand worked with Eddie Murphy many times before, coming to America, The Night Professor. But goddamn, Rick, say no to a fucking job. Really? That's like. I don't even know how to put it. Just a job's a job. And can you believe this was nominated for an Oscar for Best Makeup? And that's how bullshit the Oscars are. I mean, John Carver's The Thing can't get nominated for an Oscar for Best Makeup Effects that, when that came out. I don't think the shape of water they did. I could be wrong. I don't think they did. Yeah, I could be wrong on that. So, if I am for you. But the, the Jar Jar is a thing? Nope. But this can be nominated for an Oscar for Best Makeup Effects. If that's the case, why don't you just nominate fucking white chicks for Best Makeup Effects? Or not many fucking Ernest P. Whirl when he played different fucking characters. Which those are better than this way. I... And what's funny, some people maintain this film cost him the Oscar. Because in the year before, he did Dream Girls. People thought he was going to get the Oscar. This film came out before the Oscars. It was such a critical mauling. Critics hated it. Again, people wonder, hmm, I wonder if they saw this and said, nah, Eddie Murphy, you don't deserve an Oscar. <laughs> uh, you know what, that'd be hilarious. If that happened, like, there you go, should have made this shitty movie, maybe you have an Oscar. I would like to believe that, it's probably not true, but I would like to believe that. I mean, what, the rest of the story? Kenny Noon comes in, Cooper Dwinger wants her to marry him because... She, Tammy Noon wants to buy this orphanage. Cuba doesn't. He gets with the three brothers of Respucia. They want to build a big titty bar. Cuba is along with it. So they yeah, trick her. So they trick Norbit, who has fallen in love again with Tandy Newton. Oh, sign this. They told him it was something else. Then at one point where Specious says, if you go see her again, I'm going to hurt her. So Norbit lies. Even though she, he could just tell her, literally. Norbit, you just tell her, listen, I can't. Because where Specious said that if I'm with you, she, he, she's going to hurt you. Why don't you just say that? Because there wouldn't be a movie. But again, when Eddie's... Norbit characters locked in the basement. She could go. She'll hurt you. She says she will literally hurt you if I'm with you. So you, you gotta leave. But I guess that's the thing. Norbit is a guy who doesn't want to say shit. This whole time she could tell Tandy Noon what kind of pretty recipe she is. She cheated on me. She did this and that. Never says it. But I guess that's the point. Norbit. Needs to man up and drop some balls and get some hair on them. And then the finale, he gets out of the basement. He's riding his bicycle. The brothers of Respucia are chasing him. He gets to the wedding. He brought along Cooper Dune Jr.'s ex wives so they tell everyone how much of a douchebag Cooper Dune Jr.'s character is. The brothers trying to beat up 
Norbit, and then the town finally gets some guts and decide to fight back. Then Respucia is trying to kill Norbit, and old Asian Eddie Murphy throws a spear into the ass of Respucia, and then she runs in a blur like she's a fat flash. A fat B Barry Allen. Then our two leads get married while we're speech and her family are in fucking Mexico. This film is just so unfunny. So... My fucking body's rejecting it. The jokes are unfunny. The movie just goes at such a slug-worthy pace. So many jokes fall flat on their face. Oh, she's washing the car and then gets close to her big old, you know, old bitties on the windshield. I get Respucia is supposed to be the villain, but she's so annoying you don't want to see her on the screen. This is like a horrible SNL skit that goes on for a hundred minutes. I can't really think of any laughs I got out of this film. There's that one laugh I got out of this comedy. It's a horror show. This really what it is. It's a horror show. It is easily one of the worst comedies I've ever seen in my life. Easily one of the worst. And the number one worst Eddie Murphy film. Because this is like too far with his playing multiple characters. Where I just go, you know what, Eddie, just retire. This is the kind of movies you're doing, just retire. And he did. He did a couple other movies. This is like the William Brothers making a film on their worst day. This is like... You watching it and going, what the hell was the thinking behind this? I, I'm just... I have nothing else, man. This. this I guarantee you there's going to be people who are fans of this film, and teach their own, I don't get it. I don't get one single bit. And dude, oh, it's not that bad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just terrible stereotypes, unfunny fucking jokes, consistent fat jokes that there's no wit to it, there's no good writing to it. So you get it? She's fat. Okay, what else? Yeah, but she's fat and bitchy. Okay, what else? Yeah, but she's fat and bitchy. What else? Yeah, but she's fat and she's a bitch. Well, what else? Yeah, but she's big, bald, and fat. Okay, what else? But she's a bitch and fat. What the fuck else? Well, see, uh, then we got the Asian guy and Eddie, you know, Norbit is a weakling. Yeah, and what else? Oh, but then this big fat bitch. Yeah, she's fat. Yeah, she's a bitch. Fuck you, movie. Fuck this.